Okay, it's episode 9. This is going to be about bival and byref. Now, for some people, this is quite a confusing concept to get their head around. But I'm going to try and go through as much as I can. So I'm going to make a sub here, test1. And uh, here I'm going to put a console.readline standard setup. Um, so what this is, this is called the parentheses. Um, so the words like brackets in programming. Um, now, when making a sub function, these the arguments of what is what it's called go in here. So it's arguments. That's what they're called. So in here, I'm going to put byval. Now, what byval does? It makes a copy. Make sure you know that it makes a copy of a variable which is passed to it. Makes a copy. Remember that. So I'm going to call it B just so you don't get confused. But again, it doesn't matter because it's local. This is a local variable and dims a local variable as it will say integer. So in here, I'm going to say console dot right line um, value was and B. So here I'm going to make a variable dim a as integer equal to 3. Now what I'm going to do is say I'm going to call the variable test1 and then if I do this it's not going to like it because you haven't given the arguments here so what you do here if, if when you put the open bracket it says here it's waiting for b a value b as integer um, so it'll pass in a so what this will do b will read what a is and then sort b equal to a because it makes a copy of a and calls it b so if i say this now it will say value of value was uh, 3 so if I now say um, here I'll say console dot right line um, a is equal to three. That's probably not a very good way of doing it, but now here I'll say console dot right line a is equal to and a. I'll do it here as well to be honest. Uh, that's not a very good way of doing it, even though it would be. Um, so here I'm going to say, copy and paste that new is. Uh, so value, I should say value for b is. Um, so I'm going to say b plus equals 3 which is again the same as saying b is equal to b plus 3 um, so you're going to see what this is now so a is equal to 3 b is then equal to 3 I then add 3 let me not add 3 I'll add 12 just so you can see the difference um, a is equal to 3, B is equal to 3, new value is equal to 15, so B plus uh, 12 is equal to 15, and A is still equal to 3, because A was, this is a B, which is copy of A. Now, this is the difference with by ref. So if I say by ref, this doesn't make a copy of A, this makes a reference of B. It makes a variable called B, but when you change b, it accesses the variable that was passed to it. So this is a way of accessing a local variable within another sub. So this is a way of not using a global variable. So here I've got a local variable, but it will actually change it, as you'll see here. So now you can see a is equal to 15, whereas before a was equal to 3. So that's the difference between byval and byref. Um, but everything else is the same, which is when you say b is equal to something, then it actually changes the original value which was passed to it. 
So that's the difference between bival by ref. Um, now, if I say this to bival, you can have multiple arguments. So if I now do a comma here and say by val c as integer. Now what I'm going to do is make this a function. So function. I'm just going to change this to an end function. Um, and now what I'm going to do is return b times c. So let me get all this stuff. So this is a function. Now you might be able to see if you picked up this fairly quickly. The reason why I can't see a situation where byref is useful for a function, because although it does do something, it returns a value. The the pros the, f the reason for using a function is to return a value, and that's the way of that's usually stored. So you say a is equal to test one or something. In fact, I'll do that now. Uh, a is equal to um, test one with the arguments three, comma four. So what this is going to do, if you haven't worked it out already, is it's going to make a variable called a. It's going to pass the arguments three and four, which are both bivalved, although it doesn't matter because they're not variables. I don't I don't know if ref will crash it. No, but yeah, it's it doesn't do anything because you can't reference you can't change a four. Four is a number, it's not a variable. Um so it's gonna set the value to this times this. So it's just gonna pass multiple arguments to this function called test one and it's gonna return it and then it's gonna be stored in A and then I'm gonna write line A. So as you can see there it's multiplied them. Um now definitely after this video you should go and practice, you know, three programs or something because uh, you definitely get a better understanding of bival by ref if you practice. So I recommend doing that now before moving on to the next tutorial.